Well, guys, it's just a pleasure to have Brady here in the midst of all the COVID and all the things going on. It's nice to be back to work with more than game. Coach Ray Booker here with presenting you with uh, part of this Wilson documentary, more than a game. The only team to beat Polly in the last 40, uh, 43 years. In fact, we beat them in 1991, 90, 1992. The last team to beat them before that was 1976. They call those 1976 guys the Jinx Busters. The Jinx Busters actually were playing. Gerald Ford was actually the president of the United States. Carter had ne hadn't even been inaugurated yet. Ford was actually the president. And then we get to uh, Bill Clinton and we beat him in 1991. Why is this poly game so special? And why are we here with, with Brady Dunn? We're here because we're the first team in 1991, 1992 to win 10 ball games. We won 10 ball games that year. And great coaches like Skip Rowland have came back and gave us a, a, a motivational speech who let us know that how special that team was. Brady, when you first went under the huddle as a quarterback, what goes through your mind being a, a leader? And, how do you handle being a leader, being a quarterback, and how does that, how did that help you in raising your boys now today? You know what? Um, it you become a leader. You're you you're not uh, you're not all just because you're a quarterback, you're a leader. You become a leader because now you got you know uh, ten guys looking at you, going, "Hey, what's the play? And uh, what's the count? And uh, we expect you to to execute this properly." You know, and so you know, obviously, when I was a junior. Uh, I probably didn't come become a leader until I mean a true leader until maybe um, God, I mean maybe even after the poly game to be honest with you maybe Lakewood or Antelope Valley you know uh, but um, it 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 makes you be a leader because you gotta possess the leadership qualities to these ten guys that are looking back to you in the mm -hmm. huddle. Well, let's take it a step further. How about the whole team, Brady? Because you know. You have to win the respect of your guys as a quarterback. It's the toughest position in any sport, I believe. And I think a lot of guys will concur with me. Brady, you know, you have, you had for a while, a long time, the most, you were the most prolific passer in Wilson history with over 26, 2700 yards. And the single season passer were over 14, 1500 yards. Saying that, what was your guide that year to break that those that record, the season season practice passing record. What what was what was your secret? I mean, there there was no secret. Um, I was surrounded with such amazing athletes. You know, I mean, all the way from uh, the guys that were blocking for me to you know the guys I'm throwing to. You know, uh, Jimmy Hicks, Frankie Russell, Kevin McKenzie, Richie Ashley. I mean, um, y you you can't do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. But um, and you know, and then it goes back to coaching. You know, we were doing stuff at Wilson that Wilson had never done in, in the history of its program. We were dropping back five yards, you know, three yards, and we were throwing sometimes, uh, you know, 30, 30 times a game, which that was rare. Usually it was 15 to 20. You know, these kids today, they throw 45 times a game, you know, no problem. But, uh, um, you know, I, uh, I just, I had, I was blessed to have a lot of weapons.